Hi, I'm Hayden VK7HH and welcome back to Ham Radio DX. Today in this video, as you would have seen in the title, I'm going to show you how to build the most simplest and easiest antenna to get you on 6 meters. Now, uh, when you think of the easiest antenna to build, you probably think of a half-wave dipole. Well, that's exactly what we're going to build today. However, this is going to be built entirely out of RG58 coax. So uh, it's going to be a very, very simple antenna. You need only one piece of RG58. Uh, we need probably about six uh, to seven meters. It can be longer depending on how long you want your feed line. But that's all we're going to be doing today. Now you can probably hear my radio running in the background. Um, the fan on the IC7300 is running quite uh, fast today because six meters is open. So I've just got it running on Whisper at the moment while I shoot this video, but I have made some SSB contacts and also some uh, FT8 contacts today. So uh, we're getting into summer and six meters is really starting to open up. So looking forward to it. Anyway, what we're looking at here is the 6 meter half wave flower pot antenna, which is also uh, another name for a N-fed uh, coaxial dipole antenna. So, um, basically this antenna, and the way that, uh, this is uh, by the way VK2ZOI, I'll put a link down in the description to his website, he's also got plenty of other designs on his website too, but we'll be looking at the 6 meter uh, design today. Now the reason I'm building this antenna is I want to um, attach it to a, a whisper beacon that I have on 6 meters that I've built up. Uh, I've also uh, done a video on this previously. So I'll put a link up into the cards up here to that video if you want to check that out. But it needs an antenna. So this is the simplest antenna that I could think of to build. And many of you will have HF radios that have six meters in them, but you've probably never used six meters before. It's quite a fun band to use when the openings are there. So uh, generally the openings are in summer and there's also some openings around in midwinter. Plus you can work uh, repeaters and all that sort of thing too. Anyway, back to the antenna. So uh, this design that is on the screen here at the moment is uh, the SWR. You can see the graph down the bottom. It sits at about 52.5 megahertz. Now I want to build the antenna for about 50, 50.3 or around 50 megahertz anyway. So these, um, these, uh, so just ignore these numbers. These numbers are for 52.5. If you want to build the antenna for that, sure enough, go for that. But what I will do is I will post what uh, antenna length I end up with to get it down to 50 megs. Uh, what I've calculated out here, the top half of the antenna which is basically the inner conductor of the piece of RG58, which I've got here. So the, the inner conductor. That length is, I've calculated, at about 1376 millimeters long. The portion from where the center conductor ends to the top of the coil is 1346 millimeters. So that forms our two quarter wave sections, sections, which is the half wave uh, portion of our antenna. Now this down here is a choke. It's uh, 13 turns on a 50 millimeter former, and that just stops RF from coming back down our coax. So it essentially disconnects the antenna from RF flowing back into the shack. So we don't want any, we don't want anything past this coil uh, radiating out our RF. So I'm going to go ahead and build this antenna and we'll stick it up onto the squid pole outside and we'll do some measurements and see if it works. Okay, so apologies in advance for the wind, but what I've done is I have cut the necessary lengths off of the antenna and I've put it onto this squid pole. So you can see here all I've done is I've just taped the top of the uh, RG58 coax and that just goes along here along the squid pole until it gets to this point here I've just put a bit of glue lined heat shrink uh, where the braid now starts again so the, I've taken the braid and the outer sheath off of the RG58 to this point so that's the top half or the quarter the top quarter wave section of our dipole this here is now the bottom section and the bottom quarter wave section to here which is the I've just used a bit of masking tape so that entire length now is the half wave in fed dipole and then I've got the coil now what I've done is here I've got 
14 turns. So the, uh, the design for 52.5 megahertz had 13 turns, but I've put an extra turn on here. And then I've just got a few meters of RG58 cable uh, at the bottom of the coil. Uh, each turn, of course, is is counted as a full turn, so um, make sure that uh, if you're building this that the you count a full turn. So uh, let's put this up and test it on the meter and see what results we get. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start at the top of the band, so 53.7 megs, you can see it's 3.2 to 1, which is good. Good news is, is that as we start to move down in frequency, we can see the meter going down. So the original design was 52.5, it's 2.3 to 1. Move down a bit further. 2 to 1 is about 51.7. So at about 51 megs is where we start to see it at 1.5 to 1. We move a little bit further down. Almost where I want it perfectly there at 50.3, 1.2 to 1. So we're looking pretty good there. We go a little bit more. 50.1, 1.2 to 1. 50 megs. 1.2 to 1. So we get down to almost 49.1 megs, nearly 1 megahertz lower than 50 megs, and uh, we're still 1.5 to 1. So the antenna is probably a little bit too long. However, one thing to note is that the antenna is mounted on the outside of the squid pole so um, in its permanent situ uh, in its permanent position I'm going to be putting this inside a radome or a, or a tube which will effectively make the antenna a little bit shorter uh, it'll appear shorter so I reckon it'll end up just about perfect on the frequency that I want of 50.3 so uh, yeah it's Working very well, very simple antenna, just a single piece of RG58 coax. Now I'll show you exactly the lengths that I used and how you can build this antenna yourself. So the top half of the RG58 coax, which is just the inner conductor, is 1376 millimeters. So that forms our first quarter wave section of our dipole. Now the bottom half is 1346, so it's 30 mil shorter. And I think that that accounts for the velocity factor of the um, coax here. So there's our other quarter wave. So they're the lengths that I used and uh, you saw the results of uh, the test that we had with it on the squid pole. So that makes our half wave length. Then we've got a coil which is 14 turns around a 50 millimeter former. I did forget to to uh, indicate, so that's a 50 millimeter former. And then from here down, uh, you can have any length of coax uh, back into the rig. So that's all there is to it. Simple six meter antenna, vertical antenna to get you on the band. Make use of six meters in your, in your HF radios. So I just wanted to share this too with the 7300 that I've just discovered. I wanted to do a quick on air test. Um, with the comparing the flower pot antenna, the uh, N-fed coaxial vertical to a diamond V2000 six meter vertical. So what I've got here at the moment is I've got a coax switch on the left hand side. You can see uh, one coax, this goes to the diamond and the other side goes to the N-fed half wave. Now, um, this is the uh, one of the repeaters that I've built. It's a little bit of a fair distance from here and I have never been able to hear it properly from this location. It's always been noisy. So let's try triggering it first on the NFED half wave. 
VK7HH okay, testing. S4, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Switching antenna to the diamond. And it's S1. I can't even key it. Back to the NFED. B2000. NFED. So there's quite a substantial signal difference there on the NFED half wave. You'll also notice that the SWR is about two to one at this end of the band. If I go down to the bottom half of the band, let's just turn the power down, 50.110, there's absolutely no SWR on the NFED at all. The uh, NFED vertical coaxial dipole or flower pot antenna, whatever you want to call it, working really well. I hope you found this video uh, helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to the Ham Radio DX channel and I'll see you in the next video.